man from your device, I don't know, say a chamba this attack again. You see me? Today I'm in the studio with my boy King Will. You see me? And we're gonna remake this beat by Shensi and Taras Riley called Lighter. You see me? And how I'm gonna make this beat today, I'm gonna use anything I can find around the house to make this beat. So stay tuned. Yeah, so first thing we're gonna get, we're gonna try to find a sound we can make that, you know, the main phrase there in the song. We're gonna put it up. Whatever it go, you see me? We're gonna try to find something to make that. So we're gonna search around the house and see if we can find that. So let's go. This is what we're gonna use to make that main phrase song. So that's the original sound. So now I'm gonna put it in the keyboard and pitch it around. Okay. And I pitch it around. I'm gonna EQ it, take out some of that low end, you know? And it should sound like this. So now it kinda sound nice but you know more and put some little reverb on it now to give it a wider sound. So. Hey Russian! You see me? Alright, so that sounds nice, but I still think it needs a little filter. So filter it, make it take time and you know climb. So that actually sound good already, so I know I'm on for a good start, you see me? So, what I'm going to do now, I need a, a little rough sound, like an electric kind of type of sound like. Yeah, so I think I think I have an idea. Follow me to the storeroom. This is the killer. And listen for the sound that it gives me. That should be a good sound. Let's go. Back to the studio. This is what it sounds like. So I'm gonna pitch it around and see if I can get a little electronic kind of cards out of it. In a sound musical, but I mean, when you add it with a little bass, then that's when it's gonna sound interesting. I need to find something for the bass now. I was drinking this Malta this morning. I don't even get sponsored for this, but I decided I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna use it to make a bass sound. Don't worry me, I'm gonna make a bass sound out of this buckle. Mm. Yellow! Chumble! The original sound is like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the keyboard, pitch it around and take out some of that high frequency and see what we get out of it. It sounds like this. Well I'm still hearing a lot of high frequency, so maybe I'm gonna EQ out some of that high frequency there so we can get a more low range. Time to get the drum. Kick in! Alright, so let's go! So people, I think the fridge door can be the perfect kick sound. 
So this is the perfect smear sound. Listen to this. Alright? So watch out now. We're gonna record that. Let's go back to the studio. So this is what the original fridge sound sound like. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pitch it down. I like that but I still think I need some more low end so I'm going to take out some more of that frequency but Yeah, you see? You remember that light switch? Now we're going to check out the light switch So this is the original, original sound of a light switch Now we're going to beef it up a little bit with some EQ and stuff. Let's sound like this after. Let's hear that with the bass. Alright, so we are going good so far. So in the first part of the beat, you have something in it like whoosh. So I want to get that sound. So I think I can use this water bottle to make that perfect sound. So it sounds like this. So I'm going to record that and then put it over and see. This is the original water sound. Sound like this. So all I'm going to do is just put a little reverb on that and make sound inside of the track. I need a higher sound, but can't wait for it to run about or look for something else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just use my voice and try and make a higher sound. So this is what the higher sound like in the actual track with it. I have one more sound that I, I need to put in it. It's a background sound, but a lot of people might not hear it, but you don't know, we're going to find a little thing that will make the music sound sweet. I'm going to whistle. So this is what the whistle sound like by itself. I'm just going to pitch it around and put a little reverb on it and clear something. Here it is. Let's hear how that sound that it beat with everything. I'm gonna